Hey friends, Amanda here at Bare Bones Living. Welcome back. I wanted to give you a quick update on our turkeys. And as you can see, they are now mobile. I have them set up here in our electric netting. And I have this little paddock set up for them. And Mike built this mobile coop, if you will, for them. And that is just what we were waiting for, was something that they could live in that was mobile and easy to use. So I thought I would show you what that is all about. This is where the turkeys originally were, is in this paddock that we had set up and this is a permanent fixed structure. We buried these T posts and we buried the, the structures here for the door and this is a permanent paddock that we are still going to use. This is probably where, where they will stay again in the winter when we aren't moving them and the grass is not growing and stuff like that. Um, but Mike had built this enclosure for them and this was kind of our trial and what we based our mobile coop off of. Sorry, I have cats trying to get my attention down here. Um, but this worked out really well for us with this open construction here. And so this is what we based our mobile coop out of. And now what our current plans for this area, they had pretty much eaten all of the grass out of here. And we wanted just to have them on fresh grass on the regular and I really wanted to get them mobile. Plus they were getting out of here to get the grass that was on the other side of their fence. That is why I moved them. And now we're going to probably seed this area with um, some pasture seed so it can grow some peas and wheats and things like that so that when they come back here for the winter, they'll have good things to eat in here. And then when I move them out, I set up the mobile netting right out, right up out here. So I just had to open this door and let them into the paddock here. And I've just been moving them, basically I moved them in a J. So far, they've been out of the static coop and in the mobile coop for probably three or four weeks now. And you can see the trail of feathers as they start to molt. So our mobile coop has the same idea with the open across. We used the two by fours for roost bars again, because they have the larger feet. So they have more surface area on the top for them to roost on. And then we just have a shade cloth as their roof. Um, and there's no structure or hard top as a roof. We wanted to try to keep them from roosting up there, but to no avail, and they still roost up on this shade cloth here. And so that's why it kind of sags down like that. I can't believe it has not broken through yet, uh, but it provides them with enough shade. and they like to sleep underneath this during the day. This is the only shade that they have during the day. Unless I can get them by a tree like they had over there. They were, when I came up here, they were all sleeping under the shade of that tree back there. But we got these nice big wheels. These are the wheels that um, we got to do our chickshaw 
but because we have the um, mobile chicken coops, the Siskovich tractors, we were going to do a Siskovich tractor and a chick shaw, but we decided to make this turkey shaw instead of the chick shaw, and we just used these wheels that we got for the chicken shaw, and it works out perfect. Um, and then Mike made these kickstands, these white things right here. Those I fold up to move it, and then there's red ones on the front, I think you can see. Um, I leave those down, and then I just, this support here on that side, I just lift the whole thing from the front, drag it forward a little bit. Those supports in the front might get dragged on the ground a little bit, but I just push them back down because those you can flip up too. We made this, um, you can see this pole right here, and Mike cut in a hole in the front for that to go across as like a, a bar to pull it, but it's not necessary. I can literally just with two fingers lift, lift this thing. It's so easy to move. So we made that intentionally and then realized we didn't need it. Um, but I move them every two days and they are really loving it. I also made them a nipple water like you guys saw me do in that DIY chicken water video but I used a different the other uh, nipples that I got uh, I showed you those orange ones with the really big cups and I actually wish that I would have used that for the turkeys not the chickens because I think that they would have initially benefited from it more it took them a little bit to figure this this out and the chickens were more used to these little cups. And they're just a bigger bird. So those bigger cups would have been probably more beneficial for the turkeys, but they figured it out and they're doing it, using it just fine. Um, I'm also not fermenting their feed anymore and I'm giving them free choice feed because I did not think that, I know that they liked it but I don't think that they were getting enough feed um, and they weren't growing super fast. So I wanted to give them free choice feed because our target for at least two of these, uh, of our bigger turkeys is to dispatch them at the end of the year, one for Thanksgiving and one for Christmas and I wanted them to put on more weight. And as you guys can see, the little turkeys, they're still little, but they have grown exponentially since being out on pasture, doing this mobile rotation and having the free feed. So I'm happy that we switched over to the free feeding and so that they can get out and get more bugs and things like that. Everyone seems to be happy, it's working out for us. And I just wanted to give you guys this quick update. Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Burbones Living. We'll catch you on the next one.